That was uh, anything. Uh, she's a porn actress, uh, Laszlo, and I interviewed her. Oh, she she wanted to tell us how she got into the porn business. Okay, with Smash Pictures, I guess she worked for. Right? Oh yeah, we were at the Smash Pictures booth, and yeah, we had to, we were advised to go ask her how she got into the porn business by uh, Yoshi. Answer. Actually, answer is always a drunk uncle, a bottle of whiskey, uh, mm, and a not far off summer night with an open window. Delilah, I've seen you in a few movies. I think you were in uh, Brandon Irons' uh, Fifty to One, right? That's right. And how many? How long have you been in the business? Two years. I have over 150 movies out today. Jesus. And uh, what what prompted a lovely girl such as yourself to get into this business? Well, my mom was in the business, so oh. it was kind of an opening door for me. Sweet. Who's your mom? Deborah Cox. <laughs> 81, 82. She put out about 12 movies. A lot of girls. A lazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think it was probably my first sexual experience that really made me understand that I was such a whore. <laughs> and tell us about your first sexual experience. I was 14. I was over at my girlfriend's house, and her dad was kind of flirting with me. She went to bed early. We were hanging out. Long story short, I ended up sucking his dick. And at the very last moment when he came, I didn't realize that people didn't swallow. I kind of thought that's what you're supposed to do. So I swallowed it, and so I've always been a swallower. And after that, after I told my friends about it, they said I was such a dirty whore, and I said, you know what? There's only one line of work for me. <laughs> what did your uh, friends? What did your friend do when uh, she found out that you sucked her dad's dick? She didn't talk to you anymore. I didn't have a lot of friends in high school because I fucked everybody's boyfriends. <laughs> it's a good way to it's a good way to make a lot of enemies. <laughs> it happens, but fuck it, right? <laughs> sex is sex. Ah, you know, at least she tied it all up in the end yeah. with that explanation. Sex is sex. Wow. Yeah. All right, one more clip from the point. Wait, convention. can we just maybe you know jerk off to that one for a while? <laughs> I mean, Fantastic was that. And it's so wrong. You're supposed to vilify right. that guy. But what a <laughs> filthy, filthy whore she is. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Well, you're supposed to think, oh, my God, that, that man is awful. And the, the whole time Laszlo and I are talking to her, she's pulling her panties down and showing us her vag. And I think the two of us at that point had been so desensitized we didn't even notice that it was going on. Well, maybe Laszlo did. I don't know. Yeah. Where was that going? I don't know that you you didn't notice almost, the vag. Yeah, you didn't notice the vag. Well, uh, yeah, you could explain. be in you didn't bear the porno and a uh, tranny grabbed your cock. So right. why, why wouldn't you notice the vag? Um, yeah. I think I was so taken taken back by the story. Yeah, yeah. maybe not. Yeah, I think you. If were I taken had a mousetrap, the... I'd smash my hand in it. But I don't think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you didn't notice. You the really just sit here. <laughs> you love the fact that I'm sweating now. Why are you sweating? It's so long. What? Just well, yeah, they really are dainty lashes. Yeah, lashes Thank you. They're very Just long. Clockwork Steve. orange eyes. And how many badges do you have to see before you don't notice them You're anymore? You're desensitized. Um, I don't know. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I watch a lot of porn. So. Yeah. So. I should have just. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. After talking to all the all the men, you just you, you, didn't, you didn't notice the yeah. dirty thing with teeth. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy hatchet wound. I just didn't pay Filthy, attention. Dirty, dirty pillars. Uh, it seems logical, I guess. What the hell? Yeah. I'm sure uh, everyone out there, you know. Yeah, I should have kept that comment to myself. Yeah. For a guy with chains on his chest you. tries to grab your cock, why would you notice a vagina? <laughs> right. You? You're absolutely right. I apologize. Why would you try to cleanse the palate with a nice young vag? No, she was lovely. I just didn't <laughs> notice until Laszlo brought it up. But, okay. So. 150 movies or whatever it was in two years. She's nice. a busy girl. Jeez. Yeah. She used to tuck her pussy in so she doesn't close the car door on it. <laughs> what a mess. Jesus. One more clip. It's Delilah Strong. You were essentially molested at 14. And you just thought it was way to kill the vibe, Steve. You just start blowing guys all the time? I didn't consider being sexually molested. I wanted it. I probably antagonized him a little. You know, wearing little short shorts and flirting, but... Yeah, I guess it's considered molestation. I, I think I think in, in any court in any in any state in this country it would be it would be called m molestation. Sexy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> way, way to go, Ironside. Yeah. This hot story. Well, technically, I think that uh, violates. What are you trying to do? I break just... her down into tears? Well, yeah. that was, was kind of. You're you know... right. Oh my God, where am I well, in my life? I was really. I didn't want to sit there acting like I condoned it. I, you know, it was sort of like I wanted to see what her reaction You're would at be. The had porn I... convention. Yeah, at the but, church. Yeah, but that. Was 
st- it, like, yeah, it was a hot story, but, you know, it's something. Good, point, good. I'm glad he fucked you. Did mom come in, too? That's how be, it's supposed to go. You should start your own law- lawyer show, Perry Cockblocker. <laughs> <laughs> she with you. didn't mind. <laughs> it obviously wasn't a big deal after I said you were molested. She you know? even said it was, you know, yeah. she was kind of you provoking know, the situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let's go to Brian on Long Island. Brian. Yo, yeah, I want to know if Jimmy likes playing with the fucking yam bags. No, I sir. Mean, no, sir? No. It sounds like listening to this show that he does. I mean, him and Steve were getting more excited over gay guys than they would over... Uh, no, 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 no. Sir, what you, don't understand, was what you don't understand is this. To get the audio, I agree with the guys. Most of the audio you're going to get is just going to be nonsense. So I figured we would do something silly and try to get guys just to confirm that Steve looks like a bear to make him uncomfortable. That doesn't constitute liking playing with the yam bag. I think you guys like. I think fact, they like have to explain that. Hold on, what's you that, sir? Reach through and hit him. I, d- I definitely think he likes playing with a yam bag over there. It sounds like. No, Fun sir. Path. That's not what it is. <laughs> All right. Awfully uh, Travis from West Virginia. Hey, this is Travis. I gotta confirm Steve's desensitizing thing about pussies. Work in a strip club, and after you see about fifty or sixty of them things every two or three days, you don't even look at them anymore. <laughs> I agree with you, sir, but right after uh, you're, you're talking to a bunch of gay guys and one with a chain who calls you a bear and goes, grr, and then you go, grr, back, to not notice a vagina is a little oh, odd. Yeah. And I Steve did go, grr, back. Louder yeah. and more enthusiastically than he had to. I grr. certainly did not. You did so. I, grr. Grr. I could have done it with my mouth closed. You and your pretty eyes. He got cocky after that, too, like he was yeah. opening his eyes wide, talking to everybody. Which clip? Blink. I did Blink. not. Which clip was it where Steve went, grr, back? Oh, please. Steve, which clip is it? Uh, I was it at the end of one of the. the it clips? was uh, one of the tiger clips, I think. Yeah, I don't remember it was the name tiger. tiger. All right, hold on. Well, man. Let me yeah, he grabbed my dick. Grr. Thank you very much. Like a bear cub. Back out the bear again. Ew. Yeah, that was sexy. Why would you agree to the girl? Because <laughs> stupid here was prodding me to do it. Just so do it. what? Just do it. Just do it. Just so do it. what? I wouldn't have girded tiger. You certainly would I have. Tiger girded you when you gird back at him. That's what happened to the community. You were, you know, it's, it's a shame we don't have video of, of him, like, you know, nudging me. Just go along with it. Go along with it. It just came out. It was an instinct. Tiger went... Grr, and Steve went, her. They're like the Masons. It's like the one gives, like, the sign, and Steve gave the secret grr shake back. Yeah. I did not. Mm. I didn't well, know. it sounds like you two had a lot of fun there. Yeah, we did have fun. Jimmy and I right. always have fun at the porn awards. Was, porn uh, convention. Porn awards. Was, porn convention. It was, strippers. Uh, cute. Dirty, dirty whores. Yeah. Well, we, we took care of it so you guys didn't have to. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Big fake tits that they think look good. I see a lot less. I actually, I, I saw a lot less fake tits. Apparently, the stretched fake tits over are, breast bones. Like the, ugh, the fake tits are becoming look. very passe, I think. I, don't, I didn't are see they? a lot of them. Yeah. But I don't know. You think? You don't care. Sorry to keep you up there, No, Jimmy. I'm just getting my schedule back, man. It's going to be a little while. I flew yesterday. Still I... on L.A. time. Yeah, no, I just man. take pills when I fly. And we, I had a delay at the airport, Valium. and the flight was delayed, and uh, a fucking an hour I had to wait for my car because they forgot to make the reservation, so I called up, and I'm screaming. I've never screamed on the phone like this. I'm like, the dopey fuck, the incompetent cocksucker who made this reservation, and the guy's like, oh, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and he admitted to it. He's like, I'm sorry. It was just really busy. Wow. So I kind of felt silly. <laughs> I, got in the car. I was like, whoops. Let's go to Bukaki. Bukaki. Hey, guys, I love your show. I subscribed to XM just to get you guys. Uh, but uh, another story I was a bouncer for like three years. Every time I saw Tiff and Pussy, man, I screamed like a little schoolgirl. I thought that they were going to think that I was a pussy to them or something, but fucking A. It's great every time. Exactly. Thank you, sir, very much. Yeah, All right. Great. Steve got tired of it after four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get tired of it. I just she did. I just didn't notice. I, I, just don't, I just don't get it. All right, thank you. It doesn't make sense. 